Say the word. We're going. We're uh, absolutely going. Yep. Oh, he's going in first. My crystal, I'm going in first. Yep. Yep. That's fair. I'm a little bit scared. This is level 92 and net. Oh, no, no, no. It's chaos. It's chaos. Whoo. Whoa. Six times plentiful. Oh, it's. Oh, good for ores. You do find a lot of void rooms in these. Yes. If you get lucky, if you get a void and an ore room, oh. Or nether ore good. room. Nether ore room is also good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we have seven wild stacks to eat, though. <laughs> and couple, couple wilds, yeah. Um, that's not bad, though, usually. It's, it's a little annoying, but... Uh, it's quite annoying, yeah. Uh, how, we got how... seven times gilded, five times living. Only one time anger, but six times rapid. No, this is a toxic... This is a really toxic vault. Come on now. This is going to be difficult. I thought it was looking good. There, there's no damage, though. This is like 10% damage. Yeah, it's one one damage stack only. Oh, That's it's three, three times clumsy, though. Oh, I missed that. That's going to be bad. Three times clumsy, but also six times rapid. Are you not scared at all about that? And the mobs have four times their health. So I usually just get swarmed by mobs anyway, so I don't care if they're faster. <laughs> Such a giga, giga <laughs> just, thing to say. I back up against the wall and I just let them have it, you know? <laughs> okay. Ito. Oh, looking at uh, our scav items, though, I have a... We both have a problem. You need pearls, I need uh, strips. Oh, a yeah. A lot of strips. Coins are the worst in chaos. Yeah, it's going to be very hard to get coins in this. Okay. The rest of it's... Probably free though, right? Yeah, the rest of it free. Yeah. Check dungeons for coins though. Okay. Yeah, that's a good shout. All right, well, good you luck. Go. Wee! You too. Go one to the right. What trinkies are you running now? Are you not running wings anymore? Um, good question. I got wings, I think. Hopefully on. Then I got the uh, crystal ball. Oh, so we're running the same setup. Are we? Yeah. I'm doing crystal ball as well. But you don't you haven't got mana steel, have you? Or have you? No, I should probably add one on there. But I honestly don't really run out of mana with a potion. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh no. Yeah, did no. you have did you have nerfed mana? Oh, don't die. No, his creeper's blown up my chest. So. Oh, not the chests. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Blow me up, not the chests, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually fair. Yeah, did you hear I'm, uh, I've am i nerfed mana? Well, I haven't on the server yet, but... Oh? Maybe I didn't tell you that. The crystal ball or what? No, no, the mana potions. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's probably deserved. They're a little bit too, too strong. It's funny I mentioned this in my stream, and... Uh, and, you know, you'd expect the mega leadit, as we call it. Mega complaints about that, because it usually happens when I nerf things. And people are like, yeah, no, no, no this, this is it. No, this it makes sense. Yeah, makes sense, I totally yeah. understand. <laughs> so then they must be... So now I'm thinking, okay, wait. Maybe I need to nerf them a bit more. Like, if people aren't complaining, they, they must have been really strong. That one that gives 50% mana regen, is that... 50% of your extra mana regen, or is it 50% 50 of your total? Flat. Of your total oh, mana. Okay. It's not mana regen, it's it's recovering mana. Is it multiplying your mana regen, though, or is it... Uh... No, it doesn't have anything to do with your mana, with mana regen. It's... Uh... Okay. So it's like, uh, you have 100 mana, it's gonna give you 50 mana per drink. And, uh, and then... I'm not talking about potions, I'm talking about trinket. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, Phylactery multiplies yours. Yeah, it's more. You've played PoE, so it's more. It's more, more okay. Oh, first trinket. It's not additive. Phylactery is considered probably the strongest red trinket in the game. Okay, because I thought the crystal ball was pretty strong. Yeah, I think the crystal ball is great. Paired because with... you think, like, on, on your gear, you get, like, a 40% mana roll. Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't know what the top is, but that's my top right now, I think. Yeah, I think yeah, you that's can get like, 50. I always look at how many lines a year does an item give you, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's like two and a half lines a year at 100%. Right? Two and a half lines of gear. 
So a 40 is the max, and that gives you 100%. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I see what you mean. Yeah, so it's two it's and a like half. Really it's really strong. Yeah, yeah. I get you. Yeah, no. The mana region of Phylactery is is more. So if you have six hundred, you get three hundred from the Phylactery. Gotcha. And I think also that like the Phylactery is what enables these super intensive mana uh, like mage builds because you gotta think about the fact that. You don't really want to have a mana steel build if you're playing a range mage. Like if you're playing a fireball build, yeah. it's not optimal that you'd have to go and have lucky hit on there. You need you, well, you don't really have space for lucky hit either. Yeah. Which I'm building soon. Not a fireball build though. I'm not a fireball enjoyer. But I'm doing a, a Super Mario build. The Stomper. Yep. It's gonna be no, exciting. Snap. It's you not a meta stops. build. It's not a meta build, but it is fun. <laughs> I kind of want to do uh, a thorns build as, as well. I want to try that. Oh, I was watching a uh, a streamer that I've been playing this game for a long time, Coconut Tim, yesterday, and he's mm -hmm. level ninety six, and he was uh, he had gone full into like uh, a thorns build. It was. So it's so satisfying if you do like if you do it right it's very good um, yeah because it's kind of like a, a pacifist build but it also kills the mobs yep right? yep yep i think uh, i i like that was the vision when i did in when i included thorns in the game and i i think it's underrated um but he had got it to work with so i think he was using like phylactery or something and then um he was using Quill, so he had he kept Quill up permanently, so that Thorn spreads. Oh, okay. Because you also get the ability damage reduction from that. Yeah. And then, of course, pairing it with a damage percentile affix. Probably works with Rampage, too, though, right? Yep. Yeah, it multiplies from Rampage. But <laughs> yeah, no, there's some, there's something there, I'm sure. You just want to run into a dungeon and see them fall as they touch you. <laughs> you don't want to aim anymore. He's tired. No, I'm <laughs> He's done. He's washed uh, or old. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> done aiming. Yeah, I, I will say like, uh, I, and I'm sure people that have watched a lot of my Vault Hunters content are probably tired of this, but I usually go this build that I am now, and then I play around with it around this here level. Well, I've, comfort. Yeah, I've gone less frost build this time to be fair. I usually go quite heavily a like cold snap build. I find it very satisfying. But you should. I, I'm excited. I'm excited for you to do a thorns build. Mm -hmm. What well, are you thinking of that as uh, as a as a farm build or are you thinking that it's as uh, kill the boss build? Oh, definitely not for the boss. <laughs> not for the boss, okay. No, I want I want javelins or something for the boss. I think. Because mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a range boss or a melee boss or what he's gonna do. I'm, I, I need both options available, you know. Yep. Well, see, I don't want to say anything about the boss because I think yeah, it's fun and to you shouldn't. Fun to be discovery for people. Yeah. That's just going into my thoughts. Yeah. Yep. Yep. No, you want a well-rounded thing, is what you're saying, because you don't know what you're up mm -hmm. against. I mean, the mm -hmm. the herald is supposed to be. We we are not going to do it, uh, most likely, unless we keep the server up for people who want to tinker. But uh, it, it is supposed to be a replayable, uh, get your best time boss, right? That there are trophies to be gained. And, yeah, I saw that. That's that's neat. And getting the platinum uh, one is not super easy. I have never done it. I've got gold highest. You just need more damage. Yep. Well, as I said, when I was recording on the wrong screen, everything, <laughs> everything, you, a boss is well designed, in my opinion. If it's like an end boss, if it's like this is the end, this is where you can finish the game, then a boss is well designed if everything you've done up until that point matters. Mm -hmm. And I think, uh, I think we've got that. But there are certainly um, there are probably improvements that can be done on it as well. 
<laughs> I'm so excited. Like I've, I've been I've been outing some new things lately, right? And and talking like about the new catalyst systems yesterday and uh, the inscriptions. And I'm really excited to do it. It's like an update 14 thing. But I am really excited because to do all of these things because I have endgame. We have, we've got such a good gate now for endgame. Um, and like some people are getting confused. They're like, wait a minute, like you're adding some power creep here or whatever. But all I'm doing is like, since I know the end game, which no one else does except for outside the team. Um, I'm just like excited, you know? I don't know how to explain mm -hmm. it. It's just like, yeah, you just wait. Oh, I got a minute extra on the pilot. Oh, sweet. Grab it. I got it. Yeah, all the plans are gonna come come out pretty soon, right? I'm thinking of sharing the whole roadmap. I don't know if that's bad, but I, I usually okay. So I I can nerd down quite a lot with with like uh, dev vlogs. Yeah. Uh, if it's a game I really like, I I, I enjoy what, listening to a dev vlog, and it's kind of what I'm trying to do in a smaller way and a little bit more personal. Because obviously we are not a game studio. This is not a this is not a game. It's a mod pack, but. Uh, I mean, I feel like we have a lot of game aspects in it, um, yeah. and uh, and so I really like that. And I, I I do. There is good things with with uh, roadmaps, and there are bad things with roadmaps. Bad things is that then we all of a sudden disappoint people if we fail to be on time yeah. and stuff. Um, Expectations breed disappointment. Yeah, but at the same time, you gotta you gotta have you gotta have a little bit of balls and think like, okay, well. Um, there's value in also putting things out and and also like reading the community's response and like getting some mm. en enlightenment from that. Um, but uh, but yeah, um, very exciting stuff. If we can just wrap up the 13 today, that would be fantastic. But we have to have it on the server. We have to try it out. Counting on you to run some ascension. Uh, Oh, so, yeah, yeah. So that you can help me balance it a little bit. Like, you don't have to do anything. I just have to see your stats. <laughs> um, well, like win rate or what? Yeah, I want to see how, how difficult it is because objectives will scale, as you suggested. All right. And uh, it's hard to, like, hypothetically say this is the percentage it should scale with. But yeah, if we can get that out, then uh, I'm going to feel a lot more calm. Bootex did say that we could install it tomorrow morning. Which would be exciting. But how are you feeling now that you've played the game? Like uh, like honestly, how are you feeling? Are you feeling in are you in the state where you're feeling like I mean you you know you know that endgame is coming, and you also know about unique gear in update 14. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know if I've talked to you about catalysts and inscriptions, but uh, it doesn't really affect you that much. It's it's simplifying the system, making it a little bit more streamlined and cleaner, making it like jewels more, where you apply things to a crystal and you're done. It's removing some of yeah. that feel bad RNG. Yeah. Uh, are you feeling like, man, this was really fun, and and uh, uh, in the future I'm going to have a replay, or are you feeling like, okay, well, no, I've done this now, it's done. Like how how does it stack up? Oh, I, I think I would replay, yeah. That's For nice. sure. Okay, and the reason I'm asking that that weirdly is because like there are RPG games where the replay adds the muffin man. The muffin man. Where the replay adds uh <laughs> I have that thing. I don't know, that, I think most do, right? What do you mean? I think there's very few that don't add anything on the replay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of of these type of games, but there are other story yeah. games that you may only play once, right? Yeah, story games are linear, right? Grim Fandango. You ever played that game? Nope. It's like my. Uh, uh, did you play um, Monkey Island? That's the one I've actually never really played. I bought it for Steam, and I keep telling myself I'm gonna try it one day, and I keep putting it on. Yeah. But I used to love those LucasArts games. Yeah, so Grim Fandango is a LucasArts game uh, oh, in okay. that same era. They they released like the first or a, f a few Monkey Islands. And mm -hmm. then they released Grim Fandango back in like the 90s. And it was my favorite game. 
uh, when I wasn't like a gamer gamer. <laughs> and uh, now they've done like a, a, a HD, whatever it's called, like they've upped the graphics or whatever version of it recently, like a few years ago. Yeah, I think I might have... It's Monkey Island, that one? No, this is uh, Grim Fandango. It's the same. Oh, okay. Same I thought maybe that was a, a name for it. Nope. It's just, uh, it's just from, from the same studio and all. But, but I, the reason I'm mentioning it is that that's a game that I would like to play again. Uh, <laughs> but then I don't know when you get into this, like, oh, I remember everything. Yeah. It doesn't have the same uh, feel as when you used to play it, right? Right, exactly. Keep nostalgia to nostalgia to nostalgia and don't mess with things. Yeah. Yeah, all those old games, like, I know exactly how to solve all the puzzles still. <laughs> oh, you remember everything? Yeah. Yeah, like, if I if I was to play Day of the Tentacle, like, I, I know everything still. I know all the Sam and Max tricks, and, yeah. Well, then, then the game is just done. Like, if, if it's yeah. a... There's also the reason why we don't have puzzle rooms in World Hunters. Because uh, it's like... The, yeah, it may one-time solves. Yeah, it may seem like the most simple thing to implement, and so many people are suggesting it without thinking further or having played the game a lot. And uh, it's like, oh, it would be really cool to come across, you know, this challenge puzzle. But but the challenge for us is to build a puzzle that is replayable, that you can't learn. Um, yeah. You would have to have some kind of uh, procedural generation involved in a puzzle. Yeah. Yeah. No game wrong, there are ways to do it. We have ideas, but again, room building is a bit time consuming. This is the calmest chaos vault I've ever experienced. What is going on here? <laughs> you were so worried about the oh what is it, nine times rapid pops? Oh, is it? I'm chilling, Piece man. Of cake. I'm Piece chilling, of cake. yeah. No damage, it makes it safe. I guess I guess the damage really <laughs> really scales quickly. Yeah. It's like the multiplier for the rapid speed, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. It gets worse quicker. Quickly. Yeah. They, they combine to make it worse. Mm -hmm. Should we scab check? I don't think there's any points. I think we. I think got everything is free. Zero crack scripts. I've gotten coins. I've got your two crack pearls. <laughs> there you go. But I haven't got anything I need. I'll have a look in a second. I know that I have one crack script, uh, crack pearl, sorry. So I probably have a few crack scripts. Let's have a look. Um, I have three crack scripts, but only okay. one pearl. That's something. I'll check dungeon for you. Nope. We do have 14 minutes left. It yeah, like you're, time's you're going very slow. Your time relics, man, I'm telling you. Time on relics is bad. I got my other. I crack quite one. enjoy it. You get more loot, but then you got to bring bigger bags into the thing, and that's that's tricky. Okay. I uh, I got a comment in in regards of this that actually made me a little bit sad in regards of the relic, because uh, obviously you know as to be expected, a lot of people are gonna hate that change the change to removing time, because they feel already yeah. pressured on time, etc. And and that's it is what it is. I'm I'm confident that it makes the game better, so I'm gonna do it anyway. But I got one comment saying, "Yeah, here's an Iskal logic. This is why Iskal is an idiot. Uh, let's take away the fun part of the game, which is playing vaults. Let's make them lesser." And and I was thinking like, well, I'm not really though. Like you just go into another vault instead. What I'm doing is I'm saying, uh, you have a time frame of which you will have to uh, play within. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You know, in a lot of roguelike games, how they give you that option when you start, they'll give you like three choices, right? Mm -hmm. Difficult choices. Well, like, have you ever played Faster Than Light? Nope. Well, FTL. No? Oh. Um. You might not know what I'm talking about then. Like, a lot of roguelikes, they'll give you three choices at the very beginning to sort of set the the tone for the playthrough. Like, it'll give you three bonuses, basically, that you have to choose between. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, 
If you get rid of relics, maybe for architect vaults, you give three choices at the start of the vaults. You could get like extra time or maybe more ores or, you know, something like that. But don't we have that with catalysts though? Isn't it the same thing as saying, uh, right. if you want more- I guess it removes the random element. You're, you're right about that. I mean, it, it, it would have been clean. You go in and there are pedestals to click or whatever. But uh, I feel like the, the goal or the, the, the product, the product. Oh, my machete broke. The product uh, will <laughs> be there. <laughs> no, I can repair it. I think a lot of uh, it, it's it, a lot of things exist in the game, but they are like like through catalyst, etc. You know, you uh, the the most classic thing is is getting the complaint that people never find trinkets, and um, and then when you look into it, uh, or or complain about the RNG, and then when you look into it, it's like okay, well, we have tools for you to target loot. We have tools for you to sway the odds in your favor by changing uh, by by adding item rarity. Like, mm -hmm. yes, a trinket might be one in 140 chests. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you have 100% item rarity, you have swayed those odds significantly. Um, so It's what... more of an issue of, like, they... Not that they can't find trinkets, it's they can't find the one they want, right? Because they've done a previous build that they're trying to copy, right? Maybe, maybe that is the. I don't know. Because uh, I, after... I feel like you could find a trinket fairly easy. Yeah, I think that the. Well, maybe not the one you want. The most common complaint that I've got is that uh, people don't find trinkets at all. But uh, you're right in what you're saying before we did the pity system. But after we did the pity system, I haven't heard any complaints about specific trinkets. Hmm. So, you know. Uh, Discovering a new trinket is much more likely than rolling a trinket you already have. Right. We didn't. Oh, coin dungeon! I, I think I have your stuff, by the way. Oh, do you? Uh, let me check. I, no, I only have five. Five. Yeah, I'll do this just in case. It'll be quick. I have been opening dungeons, and I think I've only seen challenging and impossible. Oh, we got an archive. Oh, oh, oh. Where are you at? I think I'm near the end of the line. Okay. I'm stuck in a hole. <laughs> Rescue time. Oh, you'd like that one. Ooh, that's huge. Now the next one you get there is... Uh, the next one is going to be a... Uh, perfect. Well, the the final roll. Oh, is it that second from last? Yeah, I think so. Okay, you know I regret that I made it a machete because I am wasting so much durability at all the wood I'm breaking. Uh, near the end of the line, you say? Can you can you bing? Sure can. Let's clear out a couple more mobs. Okay, bing. See it? Uh, Look, no. I think it's down below. I don't see it actually. I'm I'm at the end, but you haven't reached the end yet, right? I, I haven't reached the end. It's near the end. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna go back here, and I will find you. You haven't been in this room. Can you ping again? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you one to the side. I'm going mainline. Okay, cool. I got yeah, you. Yeah. Down in the bottom, you say yeah. You can leave. Yep, yep. Cool. I've got 12 crack scripts. Nice. Nice. Dungeon solves all your problems. I'm give you your pearls before... Uh... I, I, got, I got mine. I got mine. I got mine. Oh, you got both? Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah. you, you got everything else, I'm assuming? <laughs> I haven't checked, but probably, yeah. 18 zombie brains. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, a few. Yeah, I got everything. Oh, hmm. Oh, this is such a good one. I can't pass up on it. I had a mana region, and the mana regions are kind of like... It's nice to get those done, because there are so many of them. But, uh... I think I would take mana region over that. No, this is nice to have done. Okay, okay. 
I think quantity is really strong, man. It is, yeah. But I suppose we're at the stage where it may not be necessary. Oh boy, my bags are getting full. Should oh I check no. this vendor. We must have looted a lot. Not an exciting vendor. Oh, that's the other update we're going to do fix there. Oh, that's... There are a lot of things that come with this little pre-release too, I suppose we can call it. Like the vendor. List gets bigger. Cake seal's not craftable. What's not craftable? Cakers. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think you mentioned that. It's how it used to be, and then I think I think we changed it to have a recipe. Hey, hey yes, Joe. Yeah. Did you know cake vaults aren't craftable? <laughs> <laughs> Are they changing, you say? <laughs> They're changing uh, cake vaults to be not craftable. What do you think is the most uh, what do you think is the most common response to that by the community? That's not craftable? Mm-hmm. What do you think? Oh, I'm sure they don't like it. No, yeah, no, of course they don't. But but the commute, the response is, all right, loading up my world to craft a hundred now. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Which is fine if they want to do it. Right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I I I keep saying this. Everyone should play their game how they want to play it. No one should dictate how anyone else should play their game. That's weird. I think that's the common response. You know, like when uh, Mojang got rid of the petrified slabs. Mm -hmm. I crafted up a whole ton of those. Oh, you did? <laughs> uh -huh. Or when they got rid of Infinity with Mending on a boat, I crafted up a whole ton of those as well. Oh, no. Yeah. So I'm the opposite. Whatever, uh, but that's because I'm the developer here or the lead designer. And I feel mm. like I'm cheating my community if I don't. But I'm the opposite in that if... Uh, um, if I'm changing something, if I'm nerfing something, I'm getting rid of whatever. So many times in the past, to, to balance gear, we have been like nerfing and, and upping and nerfing. And at one point, we halved the base damage of swords in order to make chaining less OP. Because chaining was just super OP. Everyone used chaining at one point. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> like... You know, Captain Sparkles and the others on the SP, they kept their old sword, which did like incredible damage <laughs> and just broke the game. But, um, yeah. If you get rid of it, you'll you'll never have the option, right? You can keep it and not use it, but you can. Right, right, right. You, no, I think legacy items are amazing to keep as a, uh, as a, as a souvenir, right? I, uh, I found treasure sand, by the way. <laughs> did you find the dig site? Uh, <laughs> I might what? spend some time here. You have to, that all the catalysts, man. Do you need help? If you want it, it's like at the end of the line. Do you need help with it? Otherwise, if, if you want to come, it might you might have a little trouble finding it, but I'm willing to share. Mm, I feel bad though, like I can just continue looting. No, I'm just gonna continue what looting. If... You take it. As long as okay. you can clear it. As long as you can clear it. I, I can clear it real fast if I use my pick, but I'm gonna try to use vein miner you know there is um oh what is it called uh brains just lost the word you know what i'm talking about what is it the best the best tool in the game though the water bucket yes yes you know there is the water bucket no that's not it hammer hammer was the one i was thinking about can i turn this into concrete treasure sand no, no. But it's funny that you'd say that, because that room <laughs> did used to have concrete powder, and that's what people did. Oh, really? Yeah, and there was just chests underneath instead of, like, the sand being the target. Oh, uh, okay. Interesting. That's really funny. This vault has been filled with chests, and then all of a sudden I get a room that has nothing. Like, it's like normal POIs. Yeah, it's a little sad I found this on, like, a chaos vault, but... Well, you found it at least. Come on now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Always disappointed with good things. You know how it is. Uh, could have been. I'm not gonna lie, the the bombs are very fast. <laughs> it's 
six, the six facts have added up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use my pick, I think. Oh, a chaos catalyst. <laughs> what, you got it in the sand? No, I didn't know you could get it from the sand. I think that's very rare. Like, very rare. Well, that paid for the vault. Yep. But what about the materials to craft the crystal, though? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a that was a grind, let me tell you. <laughs> You're standing, you went to the end, right? You got the chorus flowers. Have you yeah, never got, yeah. like, any of these really hard things? No, I have. You're just a, you're just a gamer. You just do it anyway. Well, it takes, like, what, five minutes to get to the end and back? Well, I remember Stress got, uh, like, 280 of the flowers, chorus flowers. Uh-huh. And that took a while to collect. I just need both here. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, fair enough. Botania can make those. You know, you should sell those at spawn. Because, <laughs> <man, laughs> it, it, it is quite sad to sit there in the end and, like, dash up, punch the flower, da go down, accidentally not break the whole thing. Uh -huh. There is, a, you can just shoot them off, too. Yeah, but, you know, then you have to have a bow and... I don't have a bow. There's got to be some rapid fire thing in this mod pack. You just go pew 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 pew, right? Probably, but then you have to unlock mods and. Uh. <laughs> I'm that guy now. There are solutions to things, but I'm just gonna complain, okay? Just uh. Actually, I think thing. I know what the strat is. Go on. I'm gonna be a lemon. I think. I'm middle of fighting a lot of challenge mobs. I will eat in a second. You know that trick where you get the tridents to circle around you? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Throw a bunch of tridents and then you fly by the flowers. Oh. And auto harvest. Is that like an il mango way of doing it? That sounds pretty clever. That's an etho method. What are you talking about? Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know how how well it would work. I, I think you would die. I mean, what you could do, what you also could do, is you could build a big field of them, and then have a minecart. You could sit in a minecart and uh, have your right click press down with a bow. I'm gonna eat the lemon for you as well, so you can do it. Um, yeah, I just finished finish this. I'm gonna head out. I think. I gotta find a thing. Switch anyway, the kiwis. then you'd have to have it on a timer, but what you could do is you could build a, a Nil Mango Hopper Clock. And um, and yeah, they're pretty they're pretty smart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm annoying, but uh, I'm just joking. <laughs> I don't know uh, how to respond to that. <laughs> Fair enough. That's what mm hmm means. I, I have no idea what to say. Oh, in Swedish that means like, shut up, man. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, did Stress uh, finish hers? No, she died! Did she? Oh, I missed it. I missed it too! We're just sitting here talking about uh, old Il Mango's uh, things. Are you exiting? I'm looking for a thing. Not getting too lucky with it. I would like to exit though. If all possible. It's gonna make me eat the kiwi. No, oh, come on, it's job! <laughs> I'm doing it, I'm doing it. I did it. <laughs> I'm struggling here, man. I didn't want to eat another lemon, is the thing. Oh, I got one, I got one. Okay. Oh, wow, you're low hearts, Ito. What have you been yeah, doing? Yeah, well, I'm the only one eating here, apparently. Hey, I've been eating a lemon! Hey! <laughs> Which I appreciated. Yeah. Okay, oh. there is definitely a lot of dwellers in this. You're still looting, aren't you? 
No, no, I'm trying to get out, but you know, you got to clear the room and stuff. <laughs> well, I could just eat all kiwis and head out. I'm safe. Yeah, I'm, I'm submitting right now. Okay, maybe some kiwis. Eighty-four purple mob essence. Where has that been hiding all these runs? Eighty-four. You have a stack upgrade in your thing. Oh, I see the curse. Little <laughs> sneaky, little sneaky guy. He thought he would. Uh, no. It last, so I, I wouldn't catch completely it. Completely forgot about that. Uh huh. <laughs> That's your strat. That's how you always want to exit last, so nobody sees your mess up. <laughs> That's true. Uh, okay, I gotta do the end screen. There we go. What was this? What is this? I didn't loot any chest at all in this vault. Apparently, I haven't got anything that one too. How many chests did you loot? Like this is crazy bad. Five sixty-five. Yeah, and I got five sixty-three. So you won. Oh really? Two fifty-three coin piles. Uh, yeah. No, I didn't have that many. Did you do any ores? Nope. No. Are you asking what the what was I doing? Is that what I felt you like you got more XP? Uh, yeah, I probably killed more mobs. Mm. I cleared rooms. I cleared PYs. Oh, Vols is on. Vols is on. Wait, let's see if uh, we get an artifact though. That was a juicy vault, though. I gotta say. I think it was pretty calm. Like it wasn't that many chests. But actually, you know what I care about now. Is burger sauce and I got 78 there. Nice, nice. And you take that time 7,200 to get the XP you can get from those. Oh, I'm an idiot. You know what I thought was a chaos catalyst? Is this a regular catalyst? Oh. Okay. Look what I got in there. Oh, a cove? Oh, mine. Oh, mine, yeah. And they're great. At Before this year's end, I'm going to run that i think and do it plentiful that what's is... the deal with plentiful because i can't get any plentifuls mm, they have the same level as as anything else mm. yeah i don't actually think that there's any uh weighting difference in uh catalysts but i'll find out when uh, when we do the update to it yeah maybe i'm wrong Did you get anything good? Uh, I got a trinket. I was looking through my stuff right now. Yeah, me too. I didn't open up my crate yet. Oh, oh. artifacts. Did you? Uh-huh. Hold on, we gotta do the thing. We gotta do the thing. Wait. What's the thing? We gotta open it at the, at the spawn. Oh, okay, okay. Give me a moment. Or just keep it. Keep it for now and look through the stuff real quick. I'm just directing you. This is how you do. Oh, that's a good one. I can't look. Why did I get so many jewels? There was a lot of gilded in there, I suppose. Yeah, that was a good gilded run. No key pieces, though. It's a bug. It's fixed. Very disappointing. Yeah, yeah. Wait, the other day you said to me, that's probably a good thing though, right? <laughs> I think it is, honestly. Otherwise, you can kind of run them infinitely almost, you know? Oh, because you get the... No, you but... get the Chaos Catalyst from Treasure Rooms. And mm -hmm. then... Yeah. But see, they are not supposed to be this good. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're not supposed to give this many chests, though. Finish my Legendary for another Chaos Vault Catalyst. Noise. Oh, it's a lot of stuff. It's also annoying that they have red text on them saying that I'm not the right level. When you go to sleep today, though, I'm going to grind and hopefully catch up. Mm hmm Oh! You're getting close. I forgot to put impulse on my head for that vault. I was supposed to do the doll for the chaos vault. Oh. That's fine. I will Does do he know you're doing that, or are nope. you just doing it? No, I'm just doing it anyway. 
gonna log in is like, oh, somebody's been playing my my character for me. Well, he has to open them. See. Yes, oh, so I, I see. Pop okay. them. Otherwise, they don't do anything. Uh, that's not bad. That's not bad boots. Health boots. Your favorite stat. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. I didn't look at my bag yet. I got 299 catalyst fragments. There you go. Yeah, because of that. Uh, that That's what's so good with that room. Honestly. Mm. Whoa, 33 key pieces. Yeah, that's another thing that's good with that room. So I should just be looking for that room is what you're saying. <laughs> Every vault. Yeah, go for it. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, little over a stack of burger sauce. And actually a ton of money, too. That was a good run. That was a, that was a solid run. Look, any vault when you find the dig site and you manage to dig it out is going to be yeah. very profitable. <clears throat> that dig site did cost me a lot of durability, though, I gotta say. I used my pick on it. It's a trade off. Yeah. But look at this, though, Ito. <laughs> oh, that's. <laughs> Clearing impossible illiter dungeons. Mm hmm. So I want to get another sword that has illiter and nether damage on so that I can switch to it for uh, dungeons. Yep. I mean, max it. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, Sir Scrapalot is doing bad with <clears throat> backlog, so I can't empty my bags fully yeah, just yet. What is actually going on here? Oh, oops. Probably backed up. Got a few charms. A lot of charms in there, actually. Do you want this for your uh, ability build? Oh! Yeah, uh, I mean, yes. <laughs> I can't. I can't. That would be amazing. It's yours. Thank you, Ito. Hopefully I don't accidentally scrap it. No, don't scrap it. Well, I'm trying not to, but like it's in my inventory, so. I didn't get an artifact. But I got an Omega Wand in my crate. Oh, nice. Like a pre-identified Omega Wand. What? It's the green one. Mm-hmm. Let's see. My scrapping system is not quick enough. <clears throat> it wasn't legendary though. Mm. That's your new base level. It's got to be legendary Omega. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. no. Settle for nothing less. Honestly, like, you get to a point in the game where it becomes a fun thing to build an overpower build, right? Mm -hmm. And that's just how it is. Like, I, if you do manage to get really good gear, you become overpowered in this game. That's by design. Like, you become too powerful for the vault. And I I quite enjoy that, those mechanics. I think that's fun. Mm-hmm. 